so easy to love you Baby, you're my everything You were my sunshine When I was walking through all this rain It's so easy to love you Baby, you're my everything And you were my sunshine When I was walking through all this rain It's so easy to love you Yeah it's the archivist, y'all. Yes, sir. Exclusively interviewing Mr. Danny Fernandez. Sir. That's right. And who is Mr. Danny Fernandez? That would be me. <laughs> R&B singer, pop singer, Canada. Doing it real big right now. Just dropped a new album, Automatic Love. So that's who I am. And how did you get connected and signed to CP Records? Let's hear your discovery. My discovery: CP Records found me in 2007. Um, I had a single on the radio, which I released independently myself, uh, with Joel Santana. Uh, the single was called Curious. I released it in 2008, and at the time I was, uh, I didn't have no management, no label, no nothing, so I just went out there, did my thing. I knew some radio stations with my brother, so I just brought out the single, dropped it, dropped it, dropped it, and eventually it made its way to like CHR Top 20. And then that's when CP Records hit me up and they're like, you got a Top 20 single, but you got no record deal. So like a week after that, signed the deal, boom, history. And following in the industry with your brother, Sean Desmond, what makes you two different and the direction of your career? What makes us different? Well, age, too. He's a lot, not a lot older. He's four years older than me. So, right. Um, I'd say our music. I mean, I find my music's a little bit more, um, has a little bit more edge to it than his. His is more like poppy, poppy stuff. And then my stuff's a little bit more, I like to say I'm the, I'm the badass little brother. And he's, the, he's the older, the older cat. And the follow with your career, or your direction? I've done so much in my life, not even just music. Um, I was a dancer before all this stuff, so I was dancing with um, like Aaron Carter. I was doing stuff with Blackstreet, um, Deborah Cox. I danced for the Toronto Raptors for a minute. Um, I won some award shows and, and stuff like that. And then when I turned about 18, I started getting that singing. And then so since 2008, since I dropped my first album intro, I've toured with Akon. I did a tour with Akon out here. I was actually at the GM place in Vancouver with Akon, um, Sean Kingston, Flo Rider, Girlicious, um, and now I'm headlining my own tour, me and Jordan Croucher. And the album intro with a pretty massive feature with Joel Santana as well as one of your hottest hits, Private Dancer featuring Belly. Mm -hmm. Tell us about these moves. Um, I mean, it was just, uh, the feature with Joel's was, was my own thing, so I already had that, so I thought we might as well just put it on the album because I paid for it. Sure. So, uh, and then Belly, it was, it was like, I signed to his label, so we were label mates, so eventually, he actually helped me write the song, so he's like, I'm going to hop on it, boom, did it, and that was it. For sure. And opening for Girlicious and another bunch of moves touring around the world, tell us about this remarkable accomplishment. It feels good, man. I mean, people know who I am. You know what I mean? I walk down the street, people are like, yeah, it's Danny Fernandez. And it's like, it makes me feel good that people are actually acknowledging my work and my hard work because I do work hard, straight, straight up, I'll tell you right now. Um, I've been touring for like the past three, I have slept like three hours in the past like four days. Wow. Um, before this, when I did my album, I just did a tour across, I was here already too, I, I did a radio station and stuff like that. But I'm on the grind, man, I work every day. Day and night, till I fall asleep, I work. And all because of the bootleg game, let us know about your track, Curious, and having it leaked on the net across Europe, and then your name taking off from that. Yeah, um, somehow, some way, someone got a hold of, I recorded Curious in 2003, so that sounds like almost like 10 years old, dude. I recorded in 2003, and then somehow, some German DJ, like, um, like hacked into my email. Like, they, no, someone sent me, it was like an email from, um, like a music guy, but it wasn't an email from a music guy. So I clicked the link that was on it, and I guess that gave him access to all my emails. So he got the track and um, put it on like a bootleg, like a white label uh, vinyl, and like sold it. He sold like 10,000 copies of it in Germany. So this guy, they, they hit me up, and uh, it was a promoter from Germany actually hit me up. He's like on my MySpace. So I'm like, I'm reading this message, and he's like, hey, we want to bring you out to Germany, we want to do a tour with you. I'm like, a tour? I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? He's like, I have a message back, I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, your song Curious is like number one on the charts right now in Europe, in Germany. I was like, how do you guys even know my song? How do you know my music? He's like, well, they're selling it here. 
And I, and I Googled myself to see what was going on, and my, my shit was like right there on the charts, like everywhere. So the guy's like, I want to bring you out and do, I want you to do a 28 date club tour. I'm like, I don't have any material but this one song. He's like, it doesn't matter, we're gonna bring you out here. Bro, uh, literally like a week later, I packed my bags, me and my boy who produced the track, my man Pills, um, hopped on a plane and headed up. We, I was in Europe for three months, in Germany for three months, just touring that one song. Came back, I made enough money to pay Joe Wells to do the track, and boom. Pretty remarkable. Yeah. <laughs> just because of the bootleg yeah, game. <laughs> I, don't even, I still to this day don't even know who did it. Thank you. And receiving gold for Private Dancer and Fantasy, and almost 2 million plays on YouTube, and 6 number 1 videos on Much Music, and 7 MMVA nominations, and Best Male Artist of the Year for Top Choice Awards. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. First year MMVAs, I got five nominations. Um, I was tied with Nickelback for most nominations. And now wow. it's like right there, it's like flat. Like, that's Nickelback, and it's my first year at the MMVAs, and you're gonna give me five nominations like that. Um, I, I was really overwhelmed, man. That, that, whole, I, that was my first MMVAs ever. I've never been there before. And like, it was crazy. Like, I was like, my, the feeling I had in my body is like, I couldn't even explain to you. Um, and then I picked up the award for uh, Pop Video of the Year for Private Dancer. Uh, top Choice Awards, I won Best Male of the of the year, pop artist of the year. Um, the Junos, I actually got two Juno novels last year. That was my first time at the Junos as well. How was that? It was it was awesome, man. It's a great show. Uh, they had Justin Bieber perform, Drake and all those K-9 and stuff. Um, that was a dope show. And, um, yeah. So it was good. Hopefully yeah. this year I'm going to take over them. Did you guys see the video for Automatic? Yeah, for sure. It's crazy. And Automatic Love, let us know about your recent record as it's fresh on the shelves and tell us about the work and the art that record, I put my heart into that record. The first record, I didn't really get to, to do anything on it because it was so rushed, because I had the single already out on the radio before I had the record deal. So we needed a backup like, plan right away. So Belly got in the studio and three months that album was finished. Like He wrote the whole album and we finished that whole album three months, boom, 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 out. You know what I mean? Because we couldn't wait any longer to put on another track. But from 2008 to 2010, I had two years to work on this album, right? So I recorded like 30 songs. So me and Belly co-wrote literally the whole album. Like we wrote the whole album ourselves together, and uh, we picked and choose who we wanted to collab with. Um, Josh from Mariana Stretch actually a good friend of mine. So I hit him up, and I'm like, we need to do a song together. I know people. I'm gonna tell people I'm doing a song with Mariana Stretch. You're gonna be like, what? You know what I mean? But the track I ended up being dope. It's gonna be one of the singles. Uh, me and my brother did a joint on the album. I got Belly on the album. Uh, Benny Benassi. Uh, I got some big names on the album, man. Uh, Mia, who's also got the track Stereo Love right now. She's on one of the tracks. And uh, my next single is going to be Take Me Away, the Benny Benassi joint. So that shit's popping off in the club right now already. And do you have anything else coming out that we can check uh, out? I got a, a track with Jordan right now called Treat You Right. It's on YouTube and stuff like that. We just we recorded it purposely for the tour. Um, I got my little cousin who we just signed to the label. His name's Tyler Medeiros. Um, we're putting him up. We're shooting a video for uh, his single girlfriend, November 30th. And that's how we're doing it. For sure. And working with Vancouver's DY, aka Die Young, how has this response with touring with Akon gone for your career? It's been good, man. I mean, um, DY has a big fan base already for even before he was signed to the label. And then we did the joint passenger. The label approached me in a way like, this is a new kid we're going to sign. And the way we want to bring him out is, is we want to put you on the record just to give him a little bit more buzz. And I was cool with that because DY was such a cool kid, you know what I mean? So um, I'm like, let's do the track put it out, it was such a success, we shot the video, the video was a dope video, and boom, I brought him on tour with me, he came around to some shows, and whenever he had shows, I was there for him, doing his show, you know? And the best place that you've toured, and the biggest crowd that you've rocked? Biggest crowd that I've rocked, would have had to be like 75,000 people, uh, 2008 into 2009, the New Year's Eve party I did, um, down in Toronto on Nathan Phillips Square, it's like 75,000 people outside just screaming their heads off. I'm doing it again this year too. Me and my bro are doing it together. How is that for you? Well, you know, it's a, first of all, it's freezing outside. It's like it's like minus ten, and uh, I don't know. It's just a good feeling, man. Because the people went like they, I couldn't even hear the music. They just go crazy. It's a good feeling. And your best R&B memory as Danny Fernandez? Oh, as, as myself. Yes. Well, there's too many, man. I got I got new memories every day. Um, you know how it is. I'm in a new city every day. Meet new people every day. And, it's really hard to hold on to those, like one, unless you like get it videotaped or something like that. But there's 
the right off the top of my head is way too many things to think about. And do you have anything to add and tell us something about the fans that they don't know? To be honest, man, once you're in a life like this, your, your, your fans know everything. I got people coming up to me knowing my address and, and stuff. It's crazy, man. You wouldn't believe. So there's not really... I don't really have a private life anymore. Everything's just out there in the public. So yeah, I just want to thank everyone for supporting me, Van City. You guys are you guys are the she is Jappa Dog. My homies at Jappa Dog, love Jappa Talk. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Get the album, the album stores right now. Automatic love. Pick it up. You'll love it. I promise. And you got any shouts? Shouts out to my boys, CP Records, Belly, Dy, Cash, Tony Sal, Manny Dion, Hawk, Scott, all the CP Records family. I love you guys. I'm here holding it down, CP, all day. And this is the Archivist, and you already know the name, y'all. Let's go, good through this lane, just let go. Be grown, we gone.